you know, I, I could never leave my Shelby. It's interesting, both boys were very difficult births. Almost died when Jonathan was born. Shelby was a breeze. I could have gone home the day I had her. That's what I was thinking about as I sat there holding onto her hand while she was in the coma. I'd work her arms and her legs to keep the circulation going. I'd even tell the nurse we were doing her James Bond. But I stayed there just like I always did when Shelby was controlled, hoping she'd sit up and argue with me. She never did. That's when I realized that all hope was gone. I panicked. I was hoping I'd be able to survive the next few moments while they turned off the machines. Drum left. He couldn't take it. Jackson left it. He couldn't take it either. I find it amusing. I always thought that men were supposed to be made of steel or something. But I stayed there, holding on to Shelby's hands, listening to the sounds as the beeps got further and further apart. Until there was no noise, no tremble. That's when I realized how lucky of a woman I was. I was there when this beautiful creature came into my life. And I was there when she slipped away.